Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll discuss about the interview questions and answers based on AWS. What is EC2? Amazon EC2 or Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is a web service that provides resizable compute capacity in the cloud. It is designed for the developers to have complete control over web scaling and computing resources. EC2 instances can be resized and the number of instances scaled up or down as per our requirement. These instances can be launched in one or more geographical locations or regions and the availability zones each region comprises of several availability zones at district locations connected by low latency network in the same region. What is a snowball? How Snowball moves data into and out of AWS. Here is the diagram of how the Snowball moves data into and out of AWS. The phases are create a job connect to the snowball, copy data to the snowball, your data has been moved to S3. Snowball is a petabyte scale data transport solution that uses secure appliances to transfer large amounts of data into and out of AWS cloud. Using Snowball addresses common challenges with large-scale data transfers, including high network costs, long transfer times, and security concerns. Moving on to the next question, what is CloudWatch in AWS? Amazon CloudWatch collects monitoring and operational data in the form of logs, metrics, and events, providing you with a unified view of AWS resources, applications, and services that run on AWS and on-premises servers. AWS CloudWatch is a component of Amazon Web Services that provides the monitoring for the AWS resources and customer applications. Moving on to the next question, what is Elastic Transcoder? Con it converts the video files. This is the option where we can you can use the Elastic Transcoder. Select your region. Create a pipeline, create a preset for WebM, create a job, copy the job, makes changes as needed to make a different job, including running the same job, copy it.
actually amazon elastic elastic transcoder is the media transcoding in the cloud it is designed to be highly scalable easy to use and cost effective way for the developers when you create a job elastic transcoder sends the metrics and dimensions to the cloud watch every minute so amazon elastic transcoder lets you to convert the media files that you have stored in amazon s3 into media files in the formats required by the consumer playback what do you understand by vpc create a logically isolated environment in amazon's highly scalable infrastructure specify your private ip address range into one or more public or private subnets control inbound and outbound access to and from the individual subnets using stateless network access control lists protect your instances with stateful filters for inbound and outbound traffic using security groups attach an elastic ip address to any instance in your vpc so it can be di reached directly from the internet bridge your vpc and your on site it infrastructure with an industry standard encrypted vpn connection use a wizard to easily create your vpc in four different topologies DNS and load balancer services come under which type of cloud service DNS and load balance service balancers are a part of IaaS storage cloud service What are the storage classes available in amazon s3 s3 standard s3 standard ia s3 one zone infrequent access and s3 glacier explain what t2 instances are t2 instances are designed to provide moderate baseline performance and the capability to burst into higher performance as required by the workload what are key pairs in aws Key pairs are secure login information for your virtual machines. To connect to the instances, you can use key pairs which contain a public key and a private key. How many subnets can you have per VPC? You can have 200 subnets per VPC. list different types of cloud services different types of cloud services are software as a service saas data as a service daas platform as a service 
PAAS, Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS. And I have explained one more types of cloud service as Data as a Service, DAAS. Explain what S3 is. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. You can use the S3 interface to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time and from anywhere on the web. For S3, the payment model is pay as you go. How does Amazon Route 53 provide high availability and low latency. Amazon Route 53 have few features to provide high availability and low latency. It has globally distributed servers. Amazon is a global service and consequently has DNS service globally. Any customer creating a query from any part of the world gets to reach a DNS server local to them that provides low latency. Dependency Route 53 provides a high level of dependability required by critical applications. Security and highly available and reliable. So Route 53 serves the request for the nearest data center to the client sending the request. AWS has data centers across the world. The data can be cached on different data centers located in different regions of the world depending on the requirements and configuration chosen. Route 53 enables any server in any data center which has the required data to respond. This way it enables the nearest server to serve the client request thus reducing the time taken to serve. How can you send a request to Amazon S3? Amazon S3 is a REST service and you can send a request by using REST API or the AWS SDK wrapper libraries and wrap the underlying Amazon S3 REST API. What does AMI include? AMI includes a template for the root volume for the instance launch permissions to decide which AWS accounts can avail the AMI to launch instances, a block device mapping that determines the volumes to attach the instance when it launched. What are the different types of instances? The different types of instances are general purpose instance, compute optimized, standard and IO optimized, GPU enabled, memory optimized and smaller instances. What is the relation between availability zone and region? An AWS availability zone is a physical location where the Amazon data center is located. On the other hand, AWS region is a collection of group of availability zones or data centers. How do you monitor Amazon VPC? You can monitor Amazon VPC using CloudWatch and VPC flow logs. What are the different types of EC2 instances based on costs? The three types of EC2 instances based on the costs are on-demand instance, reserved instance, and spot instance.
what is geo targeting in cloud front Geo-targeting enables the creation of customized content based on the geographic location of user. This allows you to serve the content which is more relevant to the user. Thank you for watching and that's all few important questions on AWS. If you have any doubts, please share the doubt in the comment and Please share with your friends and subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel.